get to reveal our makeovers. Our teams have been working so hard, and the results are incredible. Let's take a look at Andrea, who is, you know what? She's got babies at home, so she needed a break. Today, she got the makeover she wanted. You look amazing. How are you feeling? Amazing. Awesome. I love it. <laughs> It looks so good on you, and I'm wondering, did you doze off? Did you take a little nap while you were over there? I did, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I wanted you to do that. Okay, Maurice, let's talk about uh, her beautiful well, basically hair. Well, she had a lot of hair, and a uh, lot of layers took place here. We, we cut a ton of hair, although we kept a lot of length, but the idea you know, magically enough, I saw a lot of great texture. This haircut does not require any styling whatsoever. Good. It's just basically, that's, I just crunched right a little bit, and this is what we get, right? Yeah. And, and that's what's so easy, effortless, that was the, what we're trying to do. Very nice. Okay, let's talk a little bit about her makeup. So, I started with, we talked about freckles. She's because she doesn't like it, it's just she has a tearing eye, She's right? She's very upset how pretty she looks. <laughs> she absolutely yeah. loves it. Do you yeah. have those eyes that water? Because I that have happens. the eyes that water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you know what happens a lot in here is actually for very light eyes, the bright lights I can know. be sensitive because their eyes are open a lot during the makeup. Right. Um, so we talked about freckles, and so a great trick to celebrate your freckles, but a great summer makeup is powder foundation. Mm. So use our pressed mineral foundation for that. And then obviously concealer for pretty much anybody, but especially a new mom. Yeah. And then to sort of the twist on the beachy thing was I used purple on her eyes, uh -huh. but kept the color just on the eyelid. And she comments she likes color, but it's not so overdone that it's you know too much for for daytime kind of thing. Right. And you know just compliments the this fabulous wave and what a great look Maurice did. Oh, I her. think it looks so good. Yeah, you look absolutely Thank beautiful. You. Let's take a look at Kim now. Uh, this is how she looked when she came in, and Kim, who is an adventurer, she's been all around the world with her husband, is back and is looking for a new look. Let's take a look at what we did. <laughs> What is your personality, Kim? What do you think? Oh, I think it's great. I love it. Yeah. So. So um, we're not going to let those koalas pull that hair. No. <laughs> oh, no. Grace, you took off quite a bit. <laughs> well, you know, Miss Adventure here needs easy hair. Yes, she <laughs> does. Instead of the ponytail, I basically told her, you know, put a little bit of texturizing cream through, uh, let it air dry, yeah. right? Because it's more um, sculpted to her head now, so she doesn't have to, like, pull it back and then have these guys sticking up here and there. <laughs> right. They're, they weren't stylish. No. no. <laughs> you look beautiful. Let's talk Thank about you. your makeup. Well, there's nothing like putting turquoise on the eyes for a no makeup wearer. <laughs> like, you know, it's real subtle. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm like, okay. <laughs> I drew the inspiration from her top and the whole talk about the beach, and I thought, you know what? Let's have fun because you mentioned it. Kim has a great personality. She She's does. got a lot of fun, and I thought this is the time to do it. In the makeover madness, she'll never wear it again. But for, <laughs> but for this day, she's gonna have turquoise on. The eyes. That's right, and sometimes it's about that. Sometimes it's about we want to give you a look that we know you'll be able to replicate, and sometimes it's like you know what, just have fun. Yeah, exactly. Have that's fun what, for a day. That's know what, what a, you know a glam look will look like exactly. if you want to try that at some point. But yeah. you look amazing. amazing. You look great. So let's take a look at Tanya now. Tanya uh, came in uh, also looking for a new look. She is a teacher, which is a job I think is so amazing. Take a look at what our team did with Tanya. <laughs> It's light and airy. What was the theme again? Sort of a remember? 70s, sexy, sophisticated, <laughs> soulful. 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 Every All S word you All can think of. What sexy. do you think? I think it's amazing. Yeah. I'm really glad what they did. Yes. Happy with it. You look beautiful. Thank Absolutely you. great. And you know what? We have more than 30 seconds for you to talk. What? Yeah. <laughs> so, <Time>. go crazy! <laughs> so, let me, when Dito and I first chatted, what actually inspired this whole look was the outfit, Tanya's outfit, because it's got that early 70s, Diane von Furstenberg, true. I am woman, hear me roar, walking yes. the streets of New York, off to work, Absolutely. shaking her hair. I will survive. Yes, yeah. it was that. And it was such a beautiful era uh, mm -hmm. because it was the first time that women actually sort of hit the streets with strength. And, and so all the artifice was gone. And that's what inspired it. I think she looks great. And yeah. the other thing I love, 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 we haven't seen this for a long time, are these kind of the, the side swept fringe, but it's kind of gotten a little spidery. Yeah. Like the lashes have gotten spidery. See how the, the fringe is a little spidery? I just think that's dead sexy. That's uh, so cool. I love that. Yeah, so it's not a big block. It's like feminine, yeah. right? But, but, okay. <laughs> but. Makeup man, let's yes. talk about this. 
So it's like the 70s was all about the contouring. So what I did was not go so dark. Yeah. Okay, so I went about two, three shades uh, deeper than her skin. And for someone with fairer skin, look for gold-based bronzers, okay? Not orange-based because they will look mm. better as a contour. Orange base looked better as a blush. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I just carried it all the way through her eyes. And then on the inside, I put a flesh tone eyeliner to make her eyes look, oh, open. really <laughs> open. So like youthful open. and innocent. Yeah. So what are we doing wrong when it comes to our concealer? So we're, we're picking up these kits, and then what are we doing? Well, what I think there's some of the kids have too many colors, and mm. people don't know which one's for them mm -hmm. because they're trying to make it, you know, marketable for a lot of people to use. But sometimes the fairer skins sort of get the short end of the stick. Yeah, so sometimes I sure. recommend going with more golden bronzers and maybe other makeup that doesn't fall into the highlight contour category. Right, and you've got to keep it in a specific area. Or follow you the just bones. Come they out like an Oompa Loompa, you've got right? You've got to follow yep. the bones. Can we also say that you only see these people, though, in a photograph? If yeah. you could see them yes. in real life, if yeah. you walked in to Tim's, and saw it, you'd be like, hoi! Yes. Because it's just paint. Insane. It's well, war paint. Mm, yes. Well, it looks like they're auditioning for Braveheart. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's too much. Yeah, you're right. And a lot of people don't see the distinction between photograph, <laughs> photograph and real life. You know what, what I like about her look is she doesn't look like she just ate a hamburger. <laughs> That's what I like. Great makeup.